English Premier League. If you told me at the beginning of the season that Chelsea were going to sack Thomas Tuchel, get Graham Porter, sack him and get Frank Lampard as caretaker manager, I was never going to believe you. If you told me that Chelsea were going to be 12, <laughs> the second part of the table in the Premier League, I was never going to believe you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the end of the Premier League 2022-2023. It's going to be on Sunday. Sunday, championship. Every single game to be played the same time. And we're going to be live on Soccer IQ. Join us over there. Look at the table. It won't really make any difference because... All the places are already taken. So most of the games are for personal pride. Manchester City champions. Arsenal bottled it the last minute. They are second. Manchester United and Newcastle United. So uh, Liverpool, Europa League. Brighton, Europa League. Aston Villa and Spurs might go to the conference league and like i said chelsea 12 and the relegation battle is gonna be between everton leicester city and lead the last day is gonna be fire <laughs>
on the beach. It's gonna be a draw, two two, at the end between Una Emery and Roberto De Zerbi. Next up, we have Brentford against Manchester City. Another dead rubber kind of uh, game. Manchester City, of course, they are champions and they want to show people that they are champions. And they want to test themselves. They have two more fi finals to go. The FA Cup final and the Champions League. Brightford, you know, they're going to push for... I don't know if they can qualify for uh, Conference League or something. But I think Manchester City are going to be too strong for them. It's going to be 2-1 to Manchester City. Erling Haaland with the last game, the last goal of the season. You know what I mean? Next up, Chelsea against Newcastle. Stamford Bridge, London. Chelsea, horrible, horrible season. The worst season in years or probably in the history. <laughs> In the recent history, of course, because some in the past we used even to get relegated. So not worse than that. We're going to finish 12th or 11th against Newcastle United, who are already qualified for the Champions League. They took Chelsea's place in the Champions League. They are the new bosses in town. So Stamford Bridge players are going to say goodbye a lot of them, Chelsea are going to sell at least 11 players. So that is going to be an opportunity for Frank Lampard to say goodbye in good terms with fans. The, the players to say goodbye. So I see Chelsea winning 2-0 in a game that means literally nothing for Newcastle United. And many of their players are already uh, on the beach. 2-0 Chelsea Football Club. Next up, not uh, Crystal Palace against Nottingham Forest. That could be uh, Zaha's last game for Palace. We don't we don't know what's gonna happen. Nottingham Forest already, you know, secured their stay in the Premier League. Crystal Palace they can't get relegated, so it's gonna be just like a friendly game in my opinion. So I think this game is going to end up by being 1-1 at the end. Nobody want to get injured or anything. Just like, you know, you know, take it easy and say goodbye to the fans. 1-1. Next up, Everton against Bournemouth. Oh, my Lord. Everton need to win and hope for the best. And at Goodison Park... It's going to be fire. The fans are going to be uh, outside the hotel room <laughs> putting fire fireworks for uh, uh, for the, the Bournemouth players not to sleep so they can beat them in the morning. <laughs> it's going to be something else. Can you imagine if they escape relegation for the second time in a row, the last day of the season? I think Everton are going to do it. Yeah, I see them nick 1-0 at the end. But I don't know if that is going to be enough for them to stay. So, Everton won. Bournemouth, who have nothing to do because they already uh, secured their place in the Premier League. 1-0, Everton. Fight and win! Next up, Lead United against Spurs. Also, Leeds need to win and hope for the best. Tottenham Hotspurs, yeah, they can't go anywhere. I don't know if they're going to try to qualify for Conference League, but I, I think Lead United also need to win. And against Tottenham Hotspurs, I think they're going to do it. Lead are going to beat Tottenham 2 0. I don't know if it's going to be enough for them to qualify or to stay in the Premier League. Let's wait and see what's going to happen because I don't want to uh, go to the details at the moment. Next up, we have Leicester City against um, West Ham United. Also another must-win game for the Foxes. I pray, Lord, I pray. Leicester City are going to win this game 2-0 against West Ham. 
West Ham need to keep the players fresh for the final of the Conference League. They have nothing to lose. They're not going to get relegated. They don't want to get bad injuries. Leicester City are going to win this game 2 0 at the end. Now the question is are they going to stay? That is another question. I don't want to get to the details. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Next up, we have Manchester United against Fulham. And Fulham, yeah. I think United are gonna just do it. They're gonna they're, they're gonna take it easy because they have another final in the FA Cup with uh, Manchester City. They don't wanna get injured, so it's gonna be their B team playing against Fulham. But I think uh, they're gonna be too strong to Fulham, and Manchester United are going to win three two. It's the pink boots. Why are you wearing pink boots? Don't wear pink boots. All right, the last game that we're going to discuss in this video is going to be this Southampton against Liverpool. Southampton are already gone. They are already championship team. Liverpool, they are Europa League. They can't qualify anymore for the Champions League. So it's kind of a, a dead rubber game. It's just to say goodbye to people. Southampton, they will try to win in front of their fans, but I, th I don't think it's going to be enough. This game is going to be a 2-2 draw at the end. Yeah. All right, my people, let me know what you think about Sunday Championship. And please don't forget to join us on Soccer IQ YouTube channel uh, two hours before the kickoff so we can have time to talk about the entire season and start planning for next season. God bless you. Let's get minimum 1,000 likes for this video. Blessings.